We've come to our Salisbury Club site in Wiltshire today and behind me you can see Old Sarum. It's the site of Salisbury's oldest settlement, dating back to the Iron Age. We're here to meet Dr Alex Langlands, an archaeologist whose face you might have seen on television programmes like Wartime Farm, Victorian Bakers and Digging Up Britain's Past. He's also a senior lecturer in history and heritage at Swansea University and he's currently staying here at our Salisbury Club site with eight of his archaeology students. They're all here to work on excavations at Old Sarum that are part of a project to raise the profile of the monument. And who knows, maybe they'll unearth some treasures along the way. Let's find out how they're getting on. Old Sarum is an Iron Age hill fort which is re-fortified in the Roman period and in the Anglo-Saxon period and in the medieval period. So by the time we get to 1100, there's a huge castle wall around it, a big castle in the middle and a cathedral up on that side. What we're hoping to find is where the centres of settlement were. We want to establish whether this is sort of low status peasant settlements here. We also want to know when the site begins and when it ends. One of the nicest things that we've found, a strip of bone, and then it's got these lovely little circles inscribed in them. And this would have been like a sort of surround or mounts on a book or even on a small box or a casket. So you've been staying here at the Salisbury Club site during your excavation work. How have you found it here? I think Salisbury, for me, is probably one of the best places you can visit in the United Kingdom. We're in the shadow of the monument, which you can see up there, so we look out every evening. I think it's a good place to stay over for a few days because, you know, you've got all of the medieval past here, but you've also got Wilton, which is a stone's throw from here, which is another beautiful uh, town. Uh, we've also got Downton as well. Um, fantastic walks on the ridgeways around here. Uh, you know, this is Wessex Heartland and of course a very short distance up the road, you've also got Stonehenge. So there's at least three or four days worth of, of activities here using Salisbury as a launch pad. Uh, and the campsite is really, you know, it's wonderful. Uh, it's got all the facilities, we've been incredibly well looked after and I can't think of any better way to sort of spend the evenings and the downtime when you are out on archaeological excavations.